I'm very, very excited to be here tonight. And I want to tell you that I have been at every one. People first. And in local communities around. Lo est essentiel. Lo est la vie. Sans eau, on ne peut vivre. Sans eau, on ne peut prétendre à une femme émancipée. Sans eau, on ne peut prétendre à un monde de développement. On ne peut se développer sans avoir accès à l'eau. L'eau est la vie. Donc l'eau est source de vie et pas de profit. Je le crie haut et fort. Eau est source de vie, pas de profit. There are 2,000 people from around the world who are participating here in a collective effort to denounce the corporate control of the World Water Forum. We feel that the World Water Forum is not an official body to decide the world's, uh, the global water policy. And here we're not only challenging, but we're also proposing a new vision for water, a new culture of water that puts um, the rights of people to, uh, to safe uh, and clean water, but at the same time balances it, balances it with the rights of mother nature. July 28, 2010 was an extremely important day. It was historical because the United Nations took General Assembly took a vote and agreed to recognize the human right to water and sanitation. And what I think happened on that day is that the, the people of the world, the governments of the world, took a collective step forward in our evolution as a human species. Every government under the new regime, now with this new responsibility, has to have a plan of action to give to the United Nations, whether or not they voted for it. And they have to start a process of implementing the human right to water and sanitation in their own country. And we will hold their feet to it. It is, we're becoming a very powerful movement and we are growing as the World Water Forum is declining because they're illegitimate. And the power is coming over here and the governments are going to have to listen to us. We won this right, we're not going to give it up.